Next question is question number 2.18. What is the energy in joules required to shift the electron of the hydrogen atom from the first Bohr orbit to the fifth Bohr orbit? So what we are, we are asking here is when you're moving an electron from the first Bohr orbit to fifth Bohr orbit, how much of energy is required in terms of joules? Then the second question asked is what is the wavelength of light emitted when electron returns to the ground state? So when it moves from fifth to the first orbit, what is the wavelength of the light? And they've given the ground state energy of the electron to be minus 2.18 10 to the power minus 11 ergs. So here you are trying to find out two things. One is energy. So here when I try to draw the energy level. So I'm having this is the ground state. Then I move to the next excited state. And then to the third one fourth state and then the fifth state so here this is n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 and n is equal to 5 so as per the question when they say in this you need to find out energy when electron is moving from first to fifth orbit so when it is moving from the first orbit all the way up to the fifth orbit what is the energy required and the second question is you need to find out the wavelength when electron returns to the ground state so from the fifth when it comes to the ground state what is the wavelength required so these are the two things that you need to find out so first thing that we will write here is that ground state energy is minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 11 ergs. This is the value given to us here in the question. But here they clearly say energy should be in joules which means you need to convert ergs to joules. So when we do that we should know this relation that 1 erg is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 joules this is the relation so that means for 10 to the power 11 ergs is equal to 10 to the power minus 11 into 10 to the power minus 7 just cross multiply when we do this we will get 10 to the power minus 18 joule so here we can write that energy equals minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 11 joule. So this is 10 to the power minus 18, sorry, 18 joule. That is the conversion. So now we need to find out how much of energy is required to move from first to fifth orbit. So which means it is a, a change in the energy. So your formula here is going to be E is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules into 1 by n2 square minus 1 by n1 square. This is going to be the formula. So here n1 n2 value. All right. So in this case your n1 value is going to be 1 and n2 is going to be 5. Now when we calculate this, this will be minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joule into 1 by n2 is going to be 5. So this one will be 5 square. This will be 25 minus 1 by n1 square is 1. This will remain as 1 itself. Now when you take a LCM and do the simplification here, this will be minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joule by uh, when we take the uh, LCM of this, this will be 1 minus 20, 25 which will give minus 24 by 25. Now here minus and minus will get cancelled when we simplify this. 
we will get 2.09 into 10 to the power minus 18 joule. So this is going to be the energy required for the electron to come from fourth, first to fifth Bohr orbit. Now the second question is what is the wavelength of light emitted when the electron returns back to the ground state. It is simple in this case. We have energy so we are going to use this energy term and find out what is the wavelength. So for that we know only one relation which is delta E is equal to HC by lambda. H is Planck's constant. So H value is going to be uh, 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. C is the velocity of light. So this, that is going to be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. E value we know here. We need to find out what is lambda. So for that the formula can be rewritten as lambda is equal to Hc by delta E. So here we can write h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into c is going to be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by delta e is going to be 2.09 into 10 to the power minus 18 joule joule and joule will get cancelled seconds and seconds inverse will get cancelled and your answer here is going to be 9.511 10 to the power minus 8 meter so when we simplify these numbers you get 9.511 minus 34 plus 8 and minus 18 goes up it will become plus 18 when you simplify you will get minus 8 now that value when we convert it to 951 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters. So shift the decimal two places to the right that will become 10 to the power minus 2. When we simplify the powers you get 10 to the power minus 10. So here we can say that this is equal to 951 angstrom. Because one angstrom is 10 to the power minus 10 meters. So this is going to be the wavelength when the electron returns back to the ground state and this is going to be the energy when the electron jumps from first orbit to the fifth orbit.